What's going on guys? Back with another video. It's your boy Vibing with Fred. And listen, bro. I get a lot of people ask me, bro, what's up with these Brazilian chicks? How are they in the dating scene? How are they as women? How are they what is their view and perspective of American men? And is it worth dating them? You know what I'm saying? How does it how does it compare to dating the normal chick or the black chick or you know, the typical American girl? How is it in retrospect to that you know what i'm saying so yeah we're gonna dive into it today and we're gonna talk about it and uh yes yeah, it's, it's gonna be an interesting video so make sure you guys hit that like button comment subscribe turn that bell on ring that bell for your boy one time and let's get into it man all right so i got my notes pulled up on my screen so i'm gonna be reading them so if it, if it, if it comes across as me like reading something i'm gonna move them onto this side so if i'm looking this way i'm reading my notes on my screen all right actually i'm gonna keep them right here where they at so i'm reading them and uh and yeah so we're gonna go through it like that all right so number one are the females in brazil uh in brazil submissive and feminine bro the females in brazil are submissive and feminine day one that is the big that is the big difference that I see compared to the United States. These women come to the table with their feminine energy up front. Their femininity is not hidden, right? You're not going to have to jump through no circus hoops. You're not going to have to crack no Da Vinci codes. You're not, you're not going to have to do the unthinkable things to pull this submissive and feminine energy out of Brazilian women. It's just, it's embedded in their culture. So it doesn't matter that you're in America. It doesn't matter that you're African. It doesn't matter that you're Brazilian. It doesn't matter who you are. You're a man, so she's automatically going to bring that to the table for you. Does, does that make sense? So it doesn't. It's not this whole game. I'm gonna. I gotta wait and see what he does. Once I feel he's worthy, then I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna give him my feminine energy. They don't. And so that. So when females say. I got to wait and see how he is. They're coming to the table with the masculine energy first to fill you out. They're vetting you. And then they're going to give you that feminine energy. That's not the case in Brazil, bro. Now, number two, um, sex is talked about up front. You feel me? Like, I feel like, and it's not frowned upon. It's not a bad word. Like, females, when you, when you first meet them in the U.S., as soon as you talk about sex with them up front, they... Red flag, that's all you want. And then they block you, they delete you, they exit you out of their out of their life, pretty much, right? In Brazil, bro. First of all, let's just take Brazil out of the picture. Like in general, sex it should be within the top three topics when you first meet somebody. I need to know I need to know this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so in Brazil, it's right there on a the table with a feminine energy. These are like the first two things that come up front so you know cool what's going on you know what i'm saying and, it, and there's no secrets there's no secrets it's it's pretty it's pretty damn open as far as like what's going on and um yeah so you so you know it's not like i said there's no uh thinking game as far as like should i talk about it should i not talk about it no if you don't talk about it i can guarantee you she's gonna mention it so that's that's a good feeling as a man to know that I can have a good open conversation about sexuality, about sex, and it's not gonna it's not gonna feel uncomfortable. You're not gonna make it feel like it's a bad thing to be discussing sex because men want sex, women want sex. What's the hold up? What's the games? What we what we beating around the bush for? You feel me? Another thing that I noticed is that uh, living in Brazil that physical appearance for a man does not matter see in the states we have this mindset as the as you know as the the high school athlete has to has to be with the cheerleader that whole type thing and um you know we we see social media how you see like the, the instagram models with the with the perfect man you know with the with the nice chiseled jawline and all this shit, like the models be with the model, that type of shit, bro. That does not fly in Brazil. Like, I've seen some of the most beautiful, drop dead, gorgeous girls 
with the ugliest dudes. But it doesn't. But that's my mindset coming from the states. But to them, these are guys that they feel are handsome. And I've talked and I've sat and chilled with girls, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, she's so fine." And I'm looking at this guy, and I'm just like, "Really? Like that's how you feel? Like it's like they would be talking about fucking. You would think that we were talking about someone like um, fucking Drake or like." Morris Chestnut, uh, Channing Tatum, like so, you know, like these are dudes who are like very sexualized to women. They just feel like, oh my gosh, I gotta have, I gotta have me a Trey Songz. You know how females be, but to them, that's how they look. And it's like, bro, these are just basic guys, you know. So they in Brazil, they care more about the inside. They don't really too much care about the appearance of what you look like on the outside. As long as you treat them good, as long as you're handling your business as a man. That's all that matters to them, bro. And that's and I had to learn that because I would literally be walking down the street, and I would see like these top, top notch baddies, bro, like eights, nines, and tens, with some of the, these guys are just like they were not the most in shape, they were not tall. Actually, so, uh, most of them were shorter than the females. So you you have these tip like all the shit that the, the girls in the states require. He need to be six foot. He need to be a beard. He need to have a beard. Like, they accept you for who you are. It don't matter about your age. It don't matter about if you have a beard or not. It don't matter how tall you are, how much, whatever. Like, you, if you have a car, don't have a car. Like, if you have a place, do you have a, you know what I'm saying? What your place look like. All these requirements are, is a Western culture, cultural things. Like, these chicks are some of the most baddest chicks on the face of the planet. And they don't require that much. You know what I'm saying? They just require, they require respect, loyalty, and affection and love, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And they also, of course, all females, no matter where you go, all females want a guy who can support them financially. So before that is even thrown out, all women want that. All women want a guy who can, who can hold it down in that area financially. So in Brazil, you have a, you have a way better or you have you have I would say way better. You have a it's it's more it's more return on your investment dealing with a chick overseas than it is in the United States. Because they demand so much and the requirements are unreachable. And yeah, it's just it's just you get more you get more of your return on your investment just dealing with a chick in Brazil than you do in the States. And that's a fact. This is one of the biggest components of this whole entire puzzle is that the women have been raised by two parents in the household. The divorce rate is not that high in, in, in Brazil as far as the people our age. I'm 30, so the women that I meet typically, well, honestly, I've never met any chicks that I've personally dealt with who still don't have both parents in the household. I've only met one chick who doesn't have both parents in the household and her dad unfortunately passed away due to COVID. But all the rest of the chicks I met, they still have both parents in the household. This is huge. Like this is huge. This is a big piece of the puzzle because that covers the number one thing that I said as to why they're so submissive and feminine up front because they have seen how their mom is treated. They have seen how their mom also treats the dad they also see what real love looks like and their parents are still together. So they have the examples in front of them. So like the females in the States, they don't want to be submissive and feminine because they feel like that's being a slave and being controlled and manipulated, which you don't understand the definition of submission. If that's the way you think, because that is not the, that is not the form. That is not the definition, the true definition of submission. These women bring it to the table up front. They have real life examples. They're not looking at this shit on love and hip hop. They're not looking at this shit from the outside looking in. They live in it every day face to face with reality. So that's why that's a huge reason why they are like uh they're like this to men. It doesn't matter if you're American, it doesn't matter. They treat men, they treat Brazilian men like this. But Brazilian men don't respect them a lot. And that's the caveat to it, which is why they, they when they meet someone else who is outside of the Brazilian culture, that they gravitate to them more because it's something different. I'll be fair, it's something different 
but also we treat them we treat them good you know what i'm saying and even if you just give them a little bit bro it goes a long way so uh they have real life examples and they they're raised to to know how to treat a man um so it's not guessing or trying to figure it out. They're not raised by single mothers. They're, they're, they're still, you remember back in the day how you was raised by your parents and then uh, either your mom or your dad and also their parents as well. Most people was, you know, you was always at grandma house. They still have grandma in their house. They still have grandma right around the corner that they go and visit every day with, with grandpa. Like, so they, they have generations of, role models of how to to love and how to probably love so that's a that's a huge thing that's like one of that that one piece right there alone covers this whole entire list to be totally honest so that's i would say that would be the 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 cherry on top but there's other there's other things as to why the dating in brazil is better than dating in the states too you'll never hear a brazilian woman say i want a man but i don't need a man because why that is is because the women again the women in brazil need a man and want a man because the society is not set up for a woman to to just do everything by herself they don't have that uh they don't have that dynamic of in their in their society in their culture the 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 culture is the man is the man the woman is the woman and the man leads off top there is no there ain't no, oh, we don't have gender roles in our relationship. No, that shit don't fly in Brazil. Like, the man is the man. The woman do what she do. The man do what he do. And even if the woman has a job, she still, you hear women in the States, like, uh, they don't want to cook and clean. And sh they, they don't want to do the basic shit that they already do for themselves. They won't do it for a man. But they'll, they'll work a job, full, a full-time job, and still come home and cook. Sometimes, because most chicks in the states don't cook and don't know how to cook, but the ones that do, they'll they'll fight the idea of cooking for a man, but they'll cook for themselves. So it's like you are already doing what you're doing anyway. Now you're in a relationship, so you're telling me you can't still come home every day and cook for your man just because you have a nine to five job? That's not an issue overseas. Like that is not an issue, bro. Like. They make sure your stomach is full. And that's just one piece of the puzzle when taking care of a man. But, like, that's a big fucking piece. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when you're not used to getting that. And it's not it's not common anymore. Like, it's not common. There was a point in time where that was a common thing. But chicks just want to eat out most of the time, buy frozen foods. And they really don't know the aspects of cooking properly. And I ain't talking about no fucking hamburger helper and spaghetti. I'm talking about real meals from scratch. And if you met a chick like this on a regular basis, please let me know in the comments because this is not common in the United States. These chicks is making shit from scratch every day they cooking, bro. I've had chicks, I've had chicks get mad that I didn't come over to their house and eat after they cook. It ain't talking about one or two or five girls. We're talking about multiples, like double digits get upset at the fact that I don't come eat at their house, bro. And they ain't talking about just, oh, I cook tonight. No, this is like, hey, are you coming over tonight? Okay, you said you was coming over today. Damn, you said you was coming over like a couple times. Like, so they cook all the time, bro. This is not an issue. You feel me? So you'll never hear women say, I don't want a man. I don't... I want a man, but I don't need a man because they need men. Their society is ran by men and they know the aspects of having a man and they will, they fight each other for men, bro. And, like, and these chicks are bad. Like you have to understand these chicks are bad, bro. And they do everything in their power to make sure they got your full and undivided attention. And they get upset if you don't give them your full undivided attention. So this whole I, I want a man, but I don't need you. It's cool to have you, but I don't need... No, that shit did not fly in Brazil. And that leads me to my next point. The eating habits and the fitness culture in Brazil is like 10 out of 10, bro. I've never seen so many women. The, the First of all, let's talk about the diet in the States. The U.S. is the fattest and obese country 
in the world. So we know this. This is no secret. Um, but in the Latin culture in Brazil, the dieting system, first of all, I've talked about this in a previous video. When you shop at the grocery store, you cannot just hoard a lot of food. You have to cook this food in a timely manner. Um, the shelf life is not that long. So, which means that the food is more clean, it's more natural, less preservatives, less bullshit, pretty much. So you have to cook this food very quickly or it will go bad and you're just going to waste money. So it's, it's a lot of fresh food. So the dieting is good. We know what clean eating does for those who eat clean, the exercise, we know how you feel, right? Cause I was a personal trainer. I did meal coaching. I did all that type of stuff for five years. You know what I'm saying? So I know how I felt when I was doing it. And I've also know how I felt when I wasn't doing it. And people who never felt that don't know what it feels like. But I'm going to tell you this. The food in Brazil, bro, is exceptionally amazing, for one. And it takes a long time. Like, if you go to a restaurant, even the restaurants are healthy, natural, organic, clean food. It takes long. Like I said, when you go to a restaurant, expect to be sitting there for at least 45 minutes before you get your food. Why is that? Because it takes, they they literally cook your food fresh. It's nothing sitting in a refrigerator or none of that shit. They literally are cooking it right there, fresh, from the market. You know what I'm saying? From the farm. They have a big influence of like uh, seafood and fish. Um, that type of uh, that type of cuisines, and they're literally catching the fish, cooking the fish right there. So everything is fresh. Um, so it takes a little longer, but that's cool. So that's the difference to the health aspect of Brazil versus you know you're, the the typical girl you're gonna deal with in Brazil, bro, is insanely in shape. Like that's why you see the girls and they're like all slim, curvy. Nice flat stomach, small waist, in shape, their arms, the legs, the face, the neck, everything, bro. Like nine times out of ten, when you see a chick in Brazil, now do Brazil have people who are not all in shape? Yes, but you're not going to see it as much. It's not prevalent. Like you're not going to see it as much as you go to Walmart <laughs> or unless you, or as much as you go to the mall. Just everyday living in the United States, it's, it's a complete night and day difference the quality of women even the guys bro like i've never seen so many in shape men like i can go you can line up men right now in the u.s i'm gonna be in the i'm gonna be probably one of the fittest ones in that group you know what i'm saying that's not that's not as common you know what i'm saying and and overseas you can line up the women you can line up the men everybody is down there in shape it's a high fitness culture high driven fitness culture people live in the gym, bro, like, the gyms are huge, bro, that's where you're going to see a huge population of people is in a gym, that's not the case in the U.S., so the the the, the chances of you finding a, a baddie that's in shape with a banging ass body that ain't had no surgery done on it, pff, bro, it's, it's like 10 out of 10, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, and even if they don't go to the gym every day, their their eating is so good that they look like they go to the gym every day. Brazilians walk a lot, bro. They walk so much. They ride bikes. They're active. They they play soccer on the beach. So even if they don't go to the gym, they're walking. They're riding bikes. They're they're doing like different stuff at the at the beach. You know, volleyball stuff like that. It's it, it it's almost equal to them lifting weights. So you put the eating because remind you, eighty percent of how your body looks is what you eat. 20% is the physical act, the, the the physical part of it. So if you're eating good and you're just doing like a little basic shit, you're going to look great, bro. So they understand that. They understand that. And the women for sure live in the gym because they know I need to look my best. I need to look, I need to look my best. I got to look better than the, the person. That they, so the women are competing with each other to get a man, bro. Like, of course they want to look good. But ultimately, they're they're doing this to be desired by the men. They're trying to find, is they're trying to find a man, bro. Like, and I've talked to these chicks. They're they're looking for men. You know what I'm saying? 
And if one mess up, trust and believe somebody looking and she about to come swoop in. So they know they know what time it is. Leads me to my next point. The women compete with each other. Um because they know. And 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 for for me, for my I have a story myself. I went to the beach with this chick and she brought her friend. And the chick that I was talking to, her energy was off, her vibe was off, she was cool at first, but then she just started acting weird. And I know that I'm the prize, you know? In Brazil, they know that the men are the prize. So you ain't gonna hear this, you ain't gonna hear no woman in Brazil claiming that they are the prize, bro. You'll never hear that shit. You would never hear a woman in Brazil say she's the prize because she knows she's not the prize. She know that if she fuck up, like she can easily be replaced. What's that what Beyonce say? I can have another you in a minute. Bro, that's how it is, bro. They know this. So they they try to do the best that they can to be on your good side at all times. So that means that you are the prize. You feel me? Like, I don't understand how women in the States can claim that they're the prize, but the man, they want the man to do everything. They want the man to pay. They want the man to damn near cook. They want the man to clean. They want the man to provide and buy all their Birkin bags and shoes and all this, this, and third. The man got to, he got, at this point, they say a man need to make more than 100K a year. So a man got to make this. Oh, you need to take me out to nice ass restaurants. So how are you as a female in the States? How are you the prize? I'm doing, I'm footing the bill. I'm doing every fucking thing. So how are you the prize? So it, it doesn't make sense to say that the female, as a female, how can you say that you're the prize? Why? Because you giving up, because you're giving up the box? Oh, because you look halfway decent? To who? Because on a global standpoint, the girls in the U.S. are at the bottom, bro. I mean, we gonna be if we gonna be totally real. So like, you look good compared to who in the states? Maybe you might be above the people that you're around, but bro, on a global, on a global stage, the girls in the states can't even compete, and they know this, bro. They know this. That's why they try to shame people from traveling for traveling overseas because they try to keep you here, bro. Like, they try to keep you in the states. Um. But the women overseas, the women in Brazil in particular, bro, they know that the man is the prize. And they treat the man like he's the prize. Because they know everything everything revolves around him. He he facilitates he facilitates most likely everything. You feel me? And that's just how it is, you know? And you'll never hear him say that. You'll never hear a Brazilian say that she's the prize. You'll never hear Brazilian women say that. Um, so yeah, bro, that that's that's a Western thing, and that's a that's a manipulation thing that women try to. And if you don't do it, they call you broke. Like I don't get it. So I never understood that. I don't care to understand it, to be totally honest. So yeah. So the next point is um, the Brazilian women fall in love very quickly. They get attached very quickly um these are some of the most affectionate women that i've ever met and you know in the states females like that you got to jump through all these fucking circus hoops oh i don't want to they, they play these little fucking games like if you get their number you can't text them fast enough because if you do you're thirsty right or well, i'm gonna wait or you gotta or you gotta play all these little I'm gonna do this do that do that it's like doing fucking uh common core math or some shit where you gotta solve all this shit backwards and do all this shit you gotta you gotta drop this number do all this shit okay cool now it's it's 11 11 make a wish now I gotta send this text off and hope to and hope that she like it now let me delete that and do it. it's too much bro it's too much so the women in Brazil, if you show them a little bit of you give a fuck, bro, that goes a long way. And it's it's a contradiction to what I'm about to say. Cause I said that the there's two parent households, but realistically, what I've seen, the Brazilian men 
and it could be the generation that we in now but the, I, the brazilian men and, the, and from what i hear the brazilian women from the brazilian women as the men don't respect them and treat they treat them how they want to be treated they they're used to seeing their parents love and connection thrive successfully but but now that they are an adults now that they're adults they see that is uh the men treat them differently so but they still know how to they still know what it looks like at least now you as an american black man come to brazil and you show them the love the respect you're funny you got charisma you know you got a nice personality well grown put together and you know how to carry a simple conversation and be respectful bro gold mine you feel me like i cannot tell you how many females that are on my whatsapp that i've met and have I, it's not even about the sex you know what i'm saying because i have i haven't had sex with all the women in my phone from brazil but it's just like when you out and you meet people they can just feel that aura that energy and they know you're not from there and just having basic conversations with them and even if you don't speak portuguese bro like you can still they you like i said without 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 words you can still feel someone's energy and even if you're using google translate the things that you say hit deep on them so you don't need game you know what i'm saying you don't need game just be yourself and and keep it 100 you know what i'm saying you don't have to sauce them up and, and and tell them pillow talk lies like just be you be chill and they gonna vibe with you heavy bro like you don't have to you don't have to lie to kick it you don't gotta do all this extra bullshit you ain't gotta jump through no hoops they damn sure not gonna be jumping through no hoops because they gonna let you know up front what they want if they want to just smash they gonna say that if they want a relationship they gonna say that and they're not just gonna say that and then bullshit around for a couple days, a couple weeks, and then say, oh, no, I don't want to do it. If that's what they want, they gonna, you're going to know up front what they want, and they're going to treat it that way for the duration of the time that they know you until you either say you don't want to do it or they say it. But most of the time, it's probably going to be you um, because, bro, it's – it's it, it's so many options so they're gonna want a relationship with you but you're gonna be seeing everybody else so they but they fall in love quick bro just by a little bit of a little ounce of attention and love and you would think these women get blew blew up every single day but honestly they don't bro like brazilian guys are not dogs when it comes to like pressure uh like you see a chick a baddie in brazil the dudes they'll sit back and look at her but they're not finna push up on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're they gonna sit back and look with their boys. American men is gonna be like, look, they're gonna shoot their shot. And that's facts. So, so they, they like that. Cause even though, and I've said, I've said at the, at a street restaurant one day and, and with like a group of like six girls at the table, half of them spoke English, half of them didn't. And they were just sitting here talking about, oh, look at that guy. He's handsome, blah, blah, blah. And I asked them, I said, how would how would a guy know when a chick in Brazil is interested in him? And it was like he won't unless he comes up and talks to us. That's how they are, bro. Like so, you gotta approach them because they see attractive guys all the time. But unless you put forth that effort, they not come come to you. They might find you attractive, and you gonna they gonna give you them signals. But you got to put that you gonna have to put them big boy pants on and go shoot your shot. And they like it when you shoot your shot here. Uh, it's, it's easier, you know, to, you see somebody, boom, you know, and she'll, she'll, she'll be cordial or she, like I said, she'll, it, it's, it's going to be easy going in the States. She's going to shoot you down. She's going to talk shit. She's going to catch an attitude with you. Like she's going to do all this, you know what I'm saying? Do all this extras. Um, I don't want to be bothered. All this extra shit. So yeah, they're, 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 they're very approachable. The very approachable and friendly, friendly women. They laugh, they giggle, they're friendly. They're fe- you can feel that feminine energy um, just by approaching them. So it's 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 a it's a different feeling. It's a it's a breath. Of, it's a fresh air feeling. Like damn. So this what it feels like. That's what it feels like. To piggyback on that, the women the women they fall in love quickly, 
They get attached to you quickly. And they're also very jealous. Like, I've never, <laughs> never, mind you, I've never had an issue with chicks in the States. So let's just be clear. Never had an issue getting chicks. But these chicks in Brazil, bro, I've never seen so many women as bad as they are. And they will get mad at you for not texting them back. Like, chicks, it's usually the chicks in the States who play these fucking texting games or these, um, I don't want to show him I'm too into him because I don't want to feel like he got the power. He thirsty. Uh, I'm thirsty. I'm all, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to feel, they want to protect their image. The chicks in Brazil, bro, they don't give a fuck about that. I'm texting him. I'm calling him. They even do they they do this whole thing on WhatsApp. Like if you if if you don't respond to them in like two or three minutes or five minutes, they'll call your phone. They'll call your WhatsApp. Let it ring twice and then hang up. Right? So on WhatsApp it shows you that you popped online. So they know they'll call you just to get your attention. So you look at your phone and then you'll see that message. Bro, these chicks <laughs> It's funny, but it's true, bro. These chicks will literally fight for your attention. like, And it's crazy because it's like not just one of them will do that. All of them will do that, bro. Like, And these are some of the baddest chicks you will ever see. They That's how they move. So it's just, a, it's just a different feeling. It's a good feeling. And if you never experienced that, bro, you got to go experience it at least one time in your life. One time in your life, bro, go experience it. It'll change your whole perspective on dating in U.S. for sure. You're going to come back to the States. You're going to be like, man, fuck these chicks, bro. Like, I need to figure out how the hell I need to get back there and enjoy my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, bro, dating in the States ain't going to get no better, no time soon. The gap is too is too too large to bridge, bro. Like, it's just, it, it, it's never going to get better. It's just only going to get worse. So my next, my next, uh, this is going to be like a short little story, uh, kind of giving, I'm putting all this together, kind of giving the example of, I'll say three, but it, this happens a lot, but I'll say three. Um, I remember on three different occasions, I met a chick on Tinder and mind you, Tinder in Brazil is different from Tinder in the States. Tinder in Brazil, Tinder and Bumble is not used as much as a hookup culture. I guess it all depends on where you are in Brazil. Um, that just, I mean, where you are in Brazil says everything. Because the vibe in Rio is going to be different from Salvador. It's going to be different from Sao Paulo. It's going to be different from Brasilia. It's going to be different from Fortale. It's going to be different everywhere you go. So Tinder has its own purposes. Tinder is different in in Brazil than it is in Thailand, than in the state. So I met a chick three three different chicks and we went out for had drinks went out and got food bro when i say we came back to the house on these three different occasions i'm showering freshening up you know getting ready to relax and chill with her and i come out of the shower bro she's washing the dishes cleaning up folding up some clothes you know just it, it's never dirty but it's just tidying up shit just because it's like they're wired to do it it's like it is nothing really ever to do like she would get the broom and start sweeping shit it's like they do this up front it's like bro i literally just met you like how many times have you met a chick on tinder went on a first date y'all most most likely y'all not even going home for one let's just put that out there she's not coming to your crib and you're not going to her it's most likely Unless she probably drunk or some shit. Most likely she not. Oh no, I, want, I don't want to come over. We just met. Blah blah blah. Like I don't want to. If I do come over, we not doing nothing. Just letting you know that. Like, fuck that, bro. Like, we grown. It's it's you, we grown, bro. Like if if it's one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, and we getting, in, bro. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? We grown. We know what time it is. In Brazil, not the case, bro. So we come to the crib. She tidying up. She, you know, what I'm saying she she got her uh, she got her little night. She 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 brought um. It, it was it's funny because one of the chicks brought like her little her little speaker, not that we needed it, but it was cute. She brought her little speaker, and she had a and she had um, 
she had a candle, like a candle thing in her little, it's not like a candle thing, but it's like, you know, like those little globe things, you, you can turn it on and the shit lights up the whole ceiling. She had one of those in her bag. Don't know why she had it in her bag, but she had it in her bag. I, th I think she might have bought it that day or some shit, she said, but she had it in her purse deal. She plugged it in, started playing music. And I come out the fucking, I come out the uh, the shower and the whole fucking apartment is lit up like a damn galaxy, Milky Way. She was sweeping, tidying up the bed, folding up some little clothes and shit. And I'm like, damn, for real? So that was that one time. And it happened two other times after that too. And it was like, of course you about to get all this uh, masculine, you know what I'm saying? You about to get all of this. I'm going to keep it PG for YouTube. But of course, bro, like they exude, they exude, bro, the energy just flows out of them to just do this type of stuff, right? So like, you'll never meet a chick, at least I never have. I never had a problem meeting chicks in the States. Never had a problem meeting chicks on Tinder, online dating, blah, blah, blah. I met hundreds thousands of chicks online like you know and bro none of them did that shit like and they say they like i like you blah, blah blah none of them even when they first came to my crib they never like they just sat there on the fucking couch they didn't offer to do shit so and then and don't even be doing and giving up nothing it's like not that i'm expecting it but they definitely sure ain't giving the signs that he putting it out either so they they like to play this whole waiting game Remember back back a couple years ago, the whole fucking 90 day rule shit. I'm not giving up the cookie for 90 days. All right. All right. So y'all do that shit if y'all want to. So that, mm -mm. no, bro. No, 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 no. Not waiting 90 days for none of that. And if a, if a dude is waiting 90 days to clap cheeks, I can guarantee you he going to do your 90 day rule, but he definitely clapping somebody else's cheeks, bro. I'm going to just keep that shit 100. No dude is waiting for one girl for 90 days. And then you get the box and it's trash. So you wasted three months for what? Nah, bro. Nah, that shit dead. Women try to solidify their spot up front. They know that the clock is ticking. My time with him is valuable. He's the prize. He got options. He's He's... It doesn't matter that I'm American or Brazilian, but the fact that I'm American, he's American, I know he got options. They know this. They know this. I've met chicks. They'll sit here and tell me, why do you want to talk to me? I'm like, bro, have you looked in the mirror? You fine as fuck. Like, what are you talking about? Why you? Why not you? Like, you bad. What the fuck? They don't see that, bro. They think they just basic because they know, they know when they step outside, the competition is heavy. They know this. So they know if they got the time with you, if they if they if they get to spend one on one time with you inside four corners, four walls, they know they finna do. <laughs> Look, they finna go crazy, bro. They finna go crazy. They trying to they trying to solidify their spot day one. They not trying to have you go nowhere else, bro, because they know when they step outside. Bro, I can't I can't count on my hands, toes, and all my limbs and all my organs how many times I've been with a chick walking down the street and seen some of the most baddest females. And they be checking too. They'll look you up and down. Why you with a chick? And let her know. You better hold him. You better you hey, you better be doing your shit. I'm telling you, bro, I swear to God. They bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. So my next point is, um, <laughs> it's funny how this flows. The likelihood of you seeing an 8, 9, or a 10 in Brazil, bro, is likely. I would say 95. I would, actually, I would, I would, I would, I'd be honest. I'd be honest. I'm not going to bullshit. I'll say 98% of the time when you walk outside, you definitely going to see an 8, 9, or 10. Facts. So with that being said, in the States, how many times, and we ain't talking about Instagram models that get a section for a promotion at a club and she get flued in. Now she's sitting all pretty in VIP. We ain't talking about them, bro, because we know the IG models. But we're talking about the chicks outside of that. 
because they the IG models in the states will be considered the eights, nines, and tens. But you got Nicki Minaj on Kevin Samuel's live talking about she would rate herself a seven, a six or a seven. What? So you're telling me Nicki Minaj is telling you that she's a six or a seven? What the fuck is an eight, nine, or ten then? Like, and she's she probably she is the most successful fucking female artist to ever grace this earth. And she's not ugly, bro. And she can say that she's a seven. And you got chicks out here that claim an eight, eights, nines, and tens. And Nicki Minaj saying she's a seven. That means y'all need to reevaluate y'all fucking, uh, y'all scales. Because y'all might be threes and fours and fives. And let's be fair. Because, yeah, Nicki Minaj bad, bro. So we talking about on a regular basis who is an 8, 9, or 10 in the States. Where are you seeing them at? How often are you seeing them? Because they're, and I, I know everybody got their own 8, 9, or 10, you know. But let's be honest, bro. You know when a chick is like, bro, that girl is fine as fuck. How many times you see that? You might go to the mall, run into her, you know, while she on her thing, doing her shopping. You, but you're not going to see them. You might see them every now and then. Every now and then. Most chicks is about sixes, sevens, fives, you know. And honestly, bro, we talk about eights, nines, and tens where they died on, they died on point. Natural hair. Natural hair, bro. No long ass fingernails, no long ass eyelashes, no long ass nasty weaves, none of that bullshit. Natural hair, smelling good, soft skin, clear skin, fresh face, no makeup, all that extra. Bro, I'm telling you on a daily basis, body on point, natural curves, bro. Put your seatbelt on curves. It's about to get slippery. Hell yeah. So, sharp turns ahead, put your seatbelt on, bro. Them curves is dangerous. Bro, I'm telling you. So, they know they know the competition is thick. And the uh, so the likelihood of you seeing that in the States, very slim. The likelihood of you seeing that in Brazil, very, very, very high, bro. Very high. And my last point is uh, talking about the OnlyFans culture. There ain't no OnlyFans culture outside of of the western the western country bro you got the u.s who is the number one in only fans only place on the planet where you can go and make ten thousand dollars twenty thousand thirty grand a month on only fans and that's the men's fault bro because the men bro the men in the states are dumb as hell because like other countries bro Dudes ain't paying for that shit. Even dudes with means overseas who got bread, they not paying for that. I know, bro, I know chicks who try to do OnlyFans in Brazil. Hang that shit up. Ain't nobody buying that shit. Hey, you still doing your OnlyFans? Nah, I stopped. Why you stop? Shit, I ain't making no money. Niggas ain't paying for that in Brazil, bro. Why would I pay for your pictures and your videos when I can go outside and see, <laughs> do I need to say more, bro? Like, they not paying for that in Brazil. They not paying that for that in Colombia. They not paying for that in the DR. They not paying for that in Thailand. They not paying for that in fucking anywhere, bro, outside of the U.S., maybe, like, some parts of uh, Europe. Because, um, you know, they try to do, they close, like, the U.K., they close to fucking the U.S., what they want to do what they do type shit. But for the most part, bro, you could be hard pressed trying to find out, uh, trying to find women, trying to gain money through OnlyFans in Brazil. They, it's not happening. Why? It doesn't even make, it doesn't even make logical sense why a man would be forking up. First of all, dudes in Brazil ain't even got bread like that. So why would they even be wasting the bread that they do got on chicks, pictures and videos when they can just go to the beach, have a couple of beers, have a couple of caipirinha, some drinks, Meet some chicks and go go home and have a good time. Like, I'm gonna pay for some pictures and videos 
and I ain't even finna smash? Bro, that's the dumb shit that niggas in the States do, bro. They be gassing these females up. Paying they fucking... Dudes in the States send girls money just because to hope to get the chance. I've never seen that anywhere else, bro. The girls in the States love dudes like that. They love it. They love when dudes send them bread. Dude, they'll just put their cash app in their bio. And dudes will literally just send bread to them. But they want a good man. It's like, oh, bro. So, the West, the, the Western culture has its way with the OnlyFans. You're not gonna see over. You're not gonna see that overseas. You're not gonna see women in Brazil creating OnlyFans. And if they do create OnlyFans, they're not gonna be successful at it, and they're gonna give up. They want to do it because they see girls on fucking Instagram doing it. But the the thing is, the way Brazil is set up, that shit ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. Nope. Now, I would say as females in the States, that's the advantage they have compared to other women is that, well, Americans in general, you can create a platform and gain overnight popularity. TikTok, OnlyFans, Instagram, all this type of shit like that. One thing, can, YouTube, one thing can pop and then boom, overnight famous, overnight millionaire type shit. That don't happen anywhere else outside of the Western culture. That don't happen. So with that being said, bro, the women in the States are hella gassed up. Hella gassed up because of the men gassing them up and giving and you got chicks now in the States that are probably twos and threes talking heavy shit like they nines and tens. Demanding shit like they nines and tens. And it's like, what the fuck? Like who are you? You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then you got, and so you got, so, so another thing is that you got chicks in the States who they have degrees, they go to, they got great jobs, this, this, and that. And then they feel like once they've gained this level of success, a man can't tell you, you, you come, come at me correctly. Like they feel like because they have a degree and they have a great paying job that you, that you, they're, they're above you. That's not the case in Brazil. Even if you have women who have great career fields or just have good jobs in general, or they go to university and they have, you know, a, a degree, they still know that they need to come home, cook, and do the basic shit that a woman does. In the States, they feel like they don't need to do that shit. Like, you know, and they brag about, they try to compete with the man on that man. They try to compete. Oh, it, 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 we equal, we equal. Bro, that shit is not the case in Brazil. Ain't no equal. Ain't no equal shit. They know the dynamic of a relationship. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's no figuring out. So, guys, that's my take on it. Uh, let me make sure I hit all these points on the video. I feel like I did. Um, I, I could have went more, but I want to keep this video. I didn't want to make this video long. I want to keep it short as much as possible. Um, so yeah, guys, that's my take on it. I feel like everybody need to get to experience the world, see what's outside of the United States, see what, explore your options. Cause as a man, you are the prize, bro. Don't let these females tell you that they are the prize. They ain't bringing shit to the table except for some sex and decent looks that does not make you a prize. So Get out, explore your options, and see what the world has to offer, bro. Black men need to get more passports and travel more, bro. I think it's less than, only 13% of uh, black men have passports. And of that 13%, most of that percentage is military. So, and I know in my group of fans, none of these niggas got passports. So, so it's just like, get your passport, bro, and travel and see the world. You know what I'm saying? And see what else is out there because the world is a much bigger and better place other than the United States, bro. And once you start to travel and learn different cultures and learn how people do things, how they think, how they walk, how they talk, their way of life, bro, just that alone, the women is a cherry on top, but just that alone will show you how much 
how much you appreciate life, how much they appreciate life. Bro, I've never met a Brazilian who wanted to come to the United States and live. And people need to people need to stop thinking that when women in Brazil or overseas meet an American guy, they want a green card. This is not true. Like, I've never met a Brazilian who wanted to marry someone just for a green card. I've never met a Brazilian who wanted to come live in the U.S. They see the fuckery that goes on here. They see it. Trump fucked up a lot of people's idea of coming to the States globally. And it wasn't just Trump, bro. Like, no president of this country has ever been great. They see what go on here. You know, thanks to social media and Netflix. They see the they see how things operate. They don't want to come here. They want to come here to visit, and they don't want to go back home. And then also, to get married and come to the States is not an easy process. People need to understand that this shit ain't no, let's just go to the courthouse, boom, 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 and let's go to the States. No, it's not that easy, bro. This is like a four, it's like a three to five year process. And nobody faking that shit that long to do that, bro. No, they don't They don't want to fly thousands of miles away from their family to come where they don't know anybody. They're not going to do that, bro. It just it sounds ridiculous. Only people I, I met who say that shit have, don't even have a passport. <laughs> they don't even have a passport. They never went anywhere. So they need to they, stop spreading this notion that you only want they, they only want you because they want a green card. That's not true. I've never met a chick overseas who wanted to live in in the U.S. You know they never wanted this shit. Like and the ones I met, they definitely don't want to get married off some bullshit. They they genuinely want to get married for the right reasons. So yeah. And if anything, if I get married to a chick overseas, I'm not bringing her back to the states. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay where she's closer to her family because Brazilians are very close and family oriented people, bro. They love family. They love, love, love family. Um, so why would I take a girl? Why would anybody take a person away? And that's how most people are overseas anyway. Why would you take her away from her family dynamic when you could just move to that country? Like. And, and be around her people and, and and you know what I'm saying so she's happy you're happy everything's cool and this is the last thing guys um, this is my summary of the whole thing okay would I recommend Brazil highly 10 out of 10 you need to go you need to visit how the women treat you you're not gonna experience it nowhere else bro these women are amazingly beautiful beautiful just dope human beings high marks for brazil women bro amazing they're fun submissive feminine as fuck feminine um it ain't no it's, there's no conditional feminist like you they come to the table up front it's not no i'll see what you do and then i'll be feminine no they come they come up front with it um and then like i said these they're outgoing funny affectionate they, they love hard uh, they get jealous, but it's in a good way. It's not a toxic jealous. And yeah, man, the women are just, they're amazing, bro. Like, everybody needs to experience it at least one time in their life. But I guarantee you, once you get bit by that Brazilian bug, you're not gonna you're not gonna shake it, bro. It's gonna be hard to get rid of it. I'm telling you. So yeah, man, um, you guys need to, you guys need to just, you guys need to just try it, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life. You're gonna have a good ass time. It's a great experience. And I look at it like this. If you go, if you go to if you go to a place where they're giving you customer service and you don't like the customer service, you don't like how you're being treated, why would you continue going to this place? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the customer service in the US is terrible. And I'm, when I speak customer service, I'm talking about the dating customer service. It's terrible, bro. Let's just be honest, right? Let's call a spade a spade. It's terrible. And it ain't going to get no better. Your customer service level and viewpoint going to overseas is going to go bananas, bro. You're going to be like, damn. So you mean to tell me I can come over to this place. It's going to cost me less. The customer service is exceptionally great. The women are beautiful. The women 
are feminine. They respect me as a man. They're not trying to compete with me. The food is great. The weather is great. The culture is dope. The people are very warm and receiving. Huh. Why would you go back to the other why would you go back to the other store? Why would you go back to the other place with a terrible customer service and continuously bring them business? <laughs> I never understood that. I never understood that. So that's how Brazil is, bro. You know? And let's be fair and say that all women like a guy who's going to buy them things and treat them good. But that's very common in the States. And I'll be fair and say women in Brazil like that too, you know. But to a certain degree, I found myself in situations where females got upset the fact that I took them to a, a nice restaurant. They got upset, bro. Like, they were mad. Like, oh, I don't want to go here. Like, they cool with just going to grabbing some pizza or grabbing McDonald's or, you know, going to going to get, uh, you know, like basic, like Italian food or just going to the beach and having a beer. Bro, like, the chick told me, I don't have to come to this nice restaurant to have drinks and, they, like, no, nah, just take me to the beach. I have some Corona. I was like, so I was like, okay, I'm sorry, because I come from a different culture, and the females they don't want to go to no basic shit. Like, you know, you're not gonna find that too much. She was, she was very understanding, but she got upset the fact that I took her to this bougie ass restaurant. I'm like, bro, I want to treat you to a good time. She was like, I don't need that. I don't demand that. And and she wasn't the only one that was like that. A lot of them are like that. They don't care to do all that extravagant shit. They cool with just going to get a burger, having some beers, and going back to the crib, bro. <laughs> like they is they are so chill, bro. Super chill girls, fun, beautiful, super feminine, and just amazing souls to be around. And you learn a lot and it makes you reevaluate the shit between the water, right? So you got you got the water, you got the shit over here in the United States, and you got the you got the the you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's hard to explain. I I, I think I did the best way to explain this as much as possible in a, in this video. But yeah, man, like it's I just wanted to put a bow on that and uh it's it's a beautiful feeling to be able to really experience how to be treated and loved and as a black man you really don't see that too much you don't i don't say see that you won't you don't receive that too much in the states bro and i feel like i'm a fairly handsome you know i'm a fairly handsome brother you know and i like again i never had a problem with chicks in the states but you treat it way differently overseas bro way differently you were received way differently way differently and it's hard to mentally shake that if you was to ever go back to the states it's going to be hard because you're going to be searching for you're going to be searching for a high that you're never going to find in the states like you know how when people do drugs and stuff they're, they're always searching for that next high they're trying to they're trying to match that high like that's how it is bro like you're never going to find that high in the states and you'll be hard pressed to find it. Like, are there some great women like that in the states? Yeah, but you gotta, you got you got to un you gonna have to unturn some rocks, some mountains. You got to drain some some fucking oceans. You got to, you go. It's gonna be a task, bro. Like, cause it's not this. That's it's a minority at this point. Like, that's not the majority no more. And the times are changing. And you, like I said, it, it's it's gonna be difficult to find it. But when you travel. And you see different things, bro. Your eyes going to go from here to here, bro. It's going to blow your mind. You understand? And I try to paint the picture the best way I can. You guys need to live your life, man, and enjoy it while you can. Because life is short. And you don't want to be at the end of your life wondering what if. And it's never too late to see the world, bro. Age does not matter. As long as you're old enough to sign documents and get a passport... Travel the world, bro. Meet people. You know what I'm saying? Talk with people. And you'll see 
the U.S. ain't all what it's cracked up to be. I know a lot of foreigners want to come here because they see it on TV. They see L.A., New York, Las Vegas, all this. But they don't want to live here. They just want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Experience it. Take it back to their families. Be like, look, I was in New York. I was in L.A. I was in Miami. You know? But, man, listen. I ain't going to hold y'all no longer. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you'll know when I post. Make sure you guys subscribe. Shout out to all you guys for getting me to 100 subscribers. I appreciate that. That's love. Hit that like button, man. Smash that like button for your boy one, two, three, four, five times. And let's talk about it in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Give me y'all guys' opinion on what, what I'm talking about. You know, y'all rocking what I'm talking about? What do you think about what I'm saying? Let's talk about it, bro. I'm open for discussions. And uh, without further ado, girl, we can get out this video, man. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.